Hello, my dear Our Lady of the Woods family, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, all of God's people and people of goodwill. It's Monday. It's my regular weekly address to our parish. And of course, today we have some, you know, bigger news. You've heard already from last week when I made the announcement, but uh, we're going to try to reopen at least with public worship. But let's first start with prayer. Let us come before God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Gracious and loving God, in today's responsorial psalm, we hear that you take delight in your people. We thank you for that gift you give us. We thank you for you being there and being that delight for us and taking delight in us. And so help us today, Lord. And as our psalm today says, sing a new song to the Lord, help us to be open to sing a new song. As we hear in Acts 16, our first reading today, Lord, where we hear that the apostles set sail from Troas, making a straight run. Help us to set sail in waters that might be unchartered, in waters that at times might be a little traumatic, in waters that might not be as smooth, but help us during this time. Help us to set sail. Help us to set sail with you as our vessel, our boat, and our anchor. And we ask this through our patroness, Our Lady of the Woods, in her intercession. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so I hope this finds you well and ready for another week. And of course, you know the big news is that we will reopen tomorrow for public worship, Tuesday, May 19th, at 9 a.m. in the main church. So Tuesdays and Fridays, starting tomorrow, we will have uh, public worship again, 9 a.m. We ask that you wear a mask, bring hand sanitizer if possible, six, sit, uh, sit six feet apart for each household, whether the household is one member or an entire family. Also realize that um, Saturdays at 3 p.m. we'll have the Sacrament of Reconciliation continued. And of course, we'll have the 4 p.m. Mass on Saturday. On Sundays at 9 and 11, we will also live stream both Masses. And again, we ask you to bring your mask. Also, if you have hand sanitizer, and please cooperate and really try in, in your best way possible to be socially distant in the right uh, space and time. So really, I'm asking that you come, if you are coming uh, physically, with a heart of renewal, a heart of Christ, and that we don't have it all figured out, maybe. But we're going to continue. It's a process. It's a masterpiece in the making. So just be reminded when you come, you may not get, as Jason shared with you and I've shared before, you may not get the spot where you usually sit. But let's just be open. Let's be open to a new song. Let's be open to new times. And if you're not able to make it back yet, just know that you're there in our hearts and our thoughts and our love, and you're still part of the family until you feel it's safe and you feel comfortable enough to come back. So just remember that this is the first part of our reopening process, reopening for public worship. Why I'm saying that is that the parish office will still be closed. Um, and you can contact the staff at any time, but also the non-liturgical activities will remain suspended. Now, each pastor has a little leeway on that, and I wasn't going to share that with you, but um, if there are people who want to gather with 10 or less and, you know, you keep the same restrictive orders, I think it's just easiest to say any non-liturgical gatherings is still suspended, until our next stage of our phase is um, the next moment of the process where when we go to reopen the parish office we might then start having smaller gatherings in the meantime i would encourage you to still use zoom you can always see jason and he always knows when he hears the tennis ball like that it bounces in his side of the court but he's very much willing to help you with your zoom meetings so I just want to kind of re-emphasize that, that we're looking forward to those who can make it, but we also understand those who aren't quite ready. 
um, and that this is the reopening of the public worship. And we'll do other phases as we go along. Um, as I also shared with you before, just as a reminder, First Communions will still be discussed with the parish staff. Um, right now, we had a meeting today, the Archbishop and the Priest of the Archdiocese, and from the Worship Commission, what we were discussing is how should we respond to First Communions right now? And every parish is different. So at Our Lady of the Woods, we will um, take a little more time um, to decide, are we going to have individual First Communions throughout the summer at the different Masses, or are we going to, as time goes on, still celebrate as a group? Um, but that's still something that has to be discussed and looked at, and there's no final decision on that in the next week or so. So First Communions will continue to keep you informed. Confirmations, we're still waiting on the bishops in their decision what they're going to do. Uh, Bishop Chapeda um, will uh, kind of uh, spearhead that, and then we'll decide um, after they give the directives what we, we can do um, with the confirmation students and the candidates. Funerals and baptisms um, are possible, but we keep in mind the restrictions that are for public worship. So I think that's pretty well clear. You've heard me say it. You've heard Jason. Um, um, you're hearing me repeat it again. So if you have questions, just contact Jason or myself or Becky at the front office. I'd like to go on to one other point today. As I shared with you earlier, the Archbishop met with the, bish uh, the priest today, sorry, um, the auxiliaries and the clergy, the, the priests themselves. And he talked about what I thought was an interesting uh, concept, the overall process of the AOD during the COVID-19 pandemic. And he used a, a process with three words. He said, in responding to COVID-19, there has been respond, then stabilize, and advance. And of course, the respond part of the process is how you saw our archdiocese responding and helping the parishes and guide and direct them. We're now beginning that second part called the stabilize phase of the process where we're starting to reopen with public masses and slowly reopening parish life. But the third area, the third phase, is called advance. And what does that mean? Well, with everything that's taken place right now, with the pandemic that's been around, with how we have responded as an archdiocese and through our parishes, how we're trying to stabilize the situation now, Advance means how do we move forward in the light of everything that's taken place. And so the Archbishop um, will announce to the faithful um, on how we're going to work and our next step on unleashing the gospel, um, I think on Pentecost or around Pentecost. So I think that's an important concept to kind of remember. So that's it for today. Um, I look forward to seeing some of you tomorrow. Um, and I also hope that uh, we continue to pray for each other. You're certainly in my thoughts and love and prayers. And I close today with not so much a humorous moment, but something that I think is a very beautiful thing. And this is how I see us as we are on that second step of the process the Archbishop spoke of. Remember the three words, respond, stabilize, advance. We're in that stabilizing moment. And so you see there, a tree trunk with some roots, but this beautiful, you know, spout kind of, you know, springing forth. And it says, may we grow back, not to what was, but instead towards what we can become. May we grow back, not to what was. And sometimes that's hard for some of us. I want to go back to what was normal whatever normal was. I want to go back to the days of the parish in the golden era, whatever that was. May we grow back. Notice, not go back. Grow back, not to what was, but instead towards what we can become. And that's my thought, my hope, and my wish for Our Lady of the Woods and our parish family here. 
And so, as we see things unfolding, as we see things in our next steps, as we see reopening in our public worship, and however we're going to reopen down the road, may we have that courage and strength. Not about going back. It's about what we've been through. How can we go forward? Have a beautiful day and a blessed week.